Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of my Rostock Max version 2 build. I'm now on chapter 5, installing the Onyx heated bed. Well this step is actually about prepping the Onyx heated bed for installation. So we have a look down here, there's the Onyx heated bed. We're going to need some of the 18 gauge wire out of that bag. We're going to need only one of these, this is the lead for the thermistor. Inside here is... An LED that we're going to use. Boy, that's just too bright now. And also a thermistor. I'm going to put that down. Where is the thermistor? There it is. You can't see it, but it's right there. Uh, and of course, I've got the RTV compound that I get. So this is the Onyx. I'm just going to move my... Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way with it. Okay, so this is, the, and of course my roll of captain tape. That's one inch wide tape. They say in the instructions half inch, but I couldn't find half inch. So that's the bed. Look at this baby, eh? I wonder how much this costs by itself. Flip that over. So, we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. We have to install, we have to install the thermistor right there in the very center with uh, some RTV compound. And then solder it onto the pads. We have to solder a resistor in here for the LED that we're going to solder in here. This is a power LED. It goes on when uh, the bed's being heated. And then we have to um, solder on the 18 gauge wire for the power. Not a lot of work. So I've got my soldering iron out and ready to go. We've got my solder and my RTV. And yeah, so this episode will be this and who knows what next. We're going to mount the whole bed, maybe get some towers on. Alright, next step. And we're back with a mostly prepped Onyx hot bed. You know, I want to say something. You know, when you pick up objects, you can generally tell by their feel and their sound how brittle it is, right? Well, this thing, when I pick it up and you're feeling it, it doesn't just feel brittle. It feels like if you were to hold it out at arm's length, standing up, and just dropped it flat onto a piece of concrete, it wouldn't just shatter. It would just turn to dust. That's how brittle this thing feels. And I was just so scared of working and touching it. Especially soldering onto it. That was really frightening. So I've got my resistor soldered on there. Um, I was really nervous about cutting the leads off of the things I was soldering on there, so... They kind of stayed a little bit long, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I folded those ones back up, and then there's the LED. We'll have a sideways look at the LED. I hope you can see this at least half well. Okay, now, this is where I start the next step. Why can't I focus on anything here? What the hell? So the next step is to solder on your power and ground and your thermistor uh, wires and then that finishes off the prep however this is where I begin to deviate from the standard plan <laughs> and this is where I actually involve a lot of work for myself but whatever <laughs> so here's what's gonna happen I've already started so I'm sleeving all of my cables and I've begun sleeving what is the uh, thermistor cable And the power cable is inside there, and those will be what will be soldered onto here. But I figured this is a really good time because I'm going to have to do it anyways. So when I go back, I'm actually going to have to go back to the base now, and I'm just going to. Sorry, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go build the Rambo board and mount that, and stick it in here, and that way I can get a good idea of how long I actually need to make a lot of these cables. Um, so one thing I'm going to be doing is all of these. I'm actually going to be cutting all of these and measuring them so that they're, they're just a little bit longer than they need to be. I want really nice tight fits on all the cables. And then I'm going to cut them, and then I'm going to sleeve them and solder them back together. Uh, I don't have my clips yet. They're not in from Palulu. Um, so I'm just, I don't know, that really annoyed me. I was really hoping they'd be here, but... 
So, and that's what I'm not really sure. Do I want to wait and just, I probably should. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to sleep. Okay, see? But ultimately, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to end up taking this apart because my Palulu item is not going to be here for like a week to 10 days or whatever. Maybe a week. Either way, I want this thing up and running before I go back to work. So it just means I'm going to have to come back and just do some work. I don't have to actually take the thing apart. I can just pull off all the side edges and still do what I need to do. So I have full access to everything. So yeah, that'll be easy. I'm just going to come back and I'll sleeve those later. But I do have to stop now, and I'm just going to build the motherboard and get it in place so that I can measure the length of these leads so that I can have a good measurement. And then I'm going to have to come back in and, uh, yeah, I'm going to sleeve those and I'm going to have everything really pretty. Okay. I should add that I don't really know if that Onyx hotbed plate really is that brittle or if it just has that feeling of brittleness. I'd be really curious to find out though. And yes, I know my nose is stuffed up. Oh, sorry about that. So next up, I'm, I'm going to jump ahead in the plan. I'm going to push everything off to the side right now. And I'm going to jump ahead to assembling the motherboard onto its plate and beginning to measure various number of cables and wires, especially this one. And just looking to see what I can get out of the way for sleeving wise. Okay. And there we are with another step finished. The hot Onyx hotbed is prepared. That's the power LED. The power and ground, the thermistor leads, the resistor, everything's been taped over just to keep everything protected and held in place. The whole all the wiring has been sleeved. Come on, stop that. Ready to go in. I didn't bother trimming the thermistor wire. I went looking at the instructions and figured this will be just fine. As long as it's uh, sleeved and not flapping all over, I'm happy. So up next, here, if we have a look at the... Uh, so There we go. Now to mount it. And now the bed is mounted. And it worked very well. The sleeved cable I had left just the perfect amount to be able to fit through the hole at a nice angle. Uh, if we have a look down here, maybe, let me see if I can just lift it up into the light. Hang on, sorry. So everything seemed to fit very well. Everything's tightened up and snugged up. I'm really nervous of when I tighten these screws, you know. Um, it scares me. So there it is. There's the Onyx bed. So wait. Next up, installing the towers and the tower wiring. I wonder how long that's going to take me because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to go about sleeving all of that stuff and what exactly I want to do for sleeving so anyways there it is oh uh, boy see now that's starting to look really awesome eh? <laughs> it's so cool all right 